What's going on folks? Adam here with Free to Prowl. Just got done with work, hot, sweaty, ready to take a shower. And I'm gonna show you guys my simple shower setup. If you guys came here, you probably know what a road shower is. If you're into truck camping, overlanding, whatever you wanna call it, you guys probably know what a road shower is. There are some DIY road showers out there. You guys can check out the videos on that. This is just a simple shower curtain or actually a changing curtain you could use it for too, but it allows you to use your road shower in a more private way, uh, be able to actually fully shower, or like I said, change. And maybe if you had kids or a wife or a girlfriend who's not very comfortable, like some of us guys can get away with kind of changing behind a towel or something like that, um, you can use this setup. It's simple, it's easy, so let's check it out. But first, if you guys came here for the road shower, shower curtain setup uh, please check out our other videos uh, love hunting fishing exploring the outdoors using the rig for such adventures um, it's only gonna get more and more and more useful as kind of things progress here some big stuff coming down the road but please check out the other videos love exploring public lands public access hunting fishing like I said anything outdoors thanking our vets along the way but without further ado let's get over here and check this out three simple items you need to make this DIY shower curtain or changing curtain. This is assuming you have a roof rack and if you're running a either road shower or a PVC pipe like I am for your shower, you probably have a roof rack. So, three simple items. A collapsible tent pole. Easy stowing in your truck. Goes together pretty simply. Um, this is, I believe the, the diameter on this is 3 eighths. I took this pipe or this pole from a Cabela's tent that I don't use anymore. Uh, so it works awesome. It measures about 12 foot 3, 12 foot 4 inches. I think that's a good size. On your roof rack, you have, you'll need four stainless 3 eighths eye bolts. That's to receive your tent pole. So make sure they accommodate that. They are long enough to go through whatever roof rack you have. And then simply a shower curtain. Standard shower curtain um, that your tent pole can go through. That's all you need. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty handy. Uh, obviously you can stow away into a small um, area. I keep mine in my drawers uh, underneath my sleeping platform here in the back of my truck under my cab. Um, but that's all you need. So. Let's run around the other side. We'll show you how you get this set up and you guys can uh, check it out. So if you don't know what a road shower is, it's simply a PVC pipe painted black with some type of fill nozzle. I have a 150 PS, 150 PSI ball valve. Uh, I can't turn it. Oh yeah, she holds pressure. <laughs> but uh, some type of hose. I just have one of those uh, flex hoses, collapsible hoses. It's only about, I don't know, five, six feet long. Some type of um, faucet connection. This is just one for a, I believe this is for a heater. And then I ha actually have a quick connection on here for my hose um, because you're doing it and undoing it all the time. And then it's simply strapped to my roof rack with some uh, hose hangers made for PVC pipe, made for um, hanging pipe basically. And that's a simple system. You have to pressurize it somehow. So I use an M12, um, I use an M12 air compressor that runs on a battery. I usually pump it up to 35 PSI. And that gets me through pretty much a shower. Hit that button. I'm sure you guys know how one of these works, but just build your tent pole like normal, get it to the longest position, and you're just going to run through these two eye bolts on the one side of your um, roof rack. Just like that. All right. Then I'm going to do this a little awkwardly because I want to be able to show you guys how I do this, but just put your shower curtain on your rod. I go, usually go every other eyelet just so it's easier to move. You're not hanging this thing long term. This seems to slide a little better if you need it to slide. Other side. And then 
simply like you're making a tent, wrap this around in a hoop, and put it through these other eye bolts on the other side of your roof rack. Simple, simple. You got a shower curtain. It's, it's literally that simple. Typically what I do, I'm at, parked at the end of the back of a, a dead end road here, gravel road, doesn't get much traffic, but sometimes people come through here, so I usually shower on the back side, so if people drive past, they're just like, ah, oh, that guy's parked there. They might get a little nosy, but at least you're not gonna have somebody just walking up on you. But I run this door open, you got your towel, I usually throw like a floor mat down, do my changing, all my clothes are right there inside the door. Got my towel, once I get down to my skivvies or a little less, wrap that around you, get in your shower curtain, throw my towel over, and your shower. It's that simple, you can stand here, shower, in peace, lather up, you don't have to be super in a rush. Um, but yeah, it's literally that handy. Uh, you know, these tent poles are pretty strong. They're designed to be made in an arch like this. So check it out. Like I said, it's simple supplies. It's four eye bolts, a tent pole, and a shower curtain. Eye bolts are probably, stainless eye bolts are probably a dollar a piece. Shower curtain, 10 to 12, 15 bucks maybe tent pole if you don't have one that's like around 12 feet to make this kind of arch um, maybe $15 I'm sure you can find them online but it's pretty handy pretty simple it'll probably take you 10 15 minutes to drill the holes and get the eye bolts secured after that it packs down to nothing so check it out if you guys are looking for something like this because you're doing truck camping you're overlanding you're hunting you're fishing whatever you're doing this setup will work. If you have any questions on the road shower setup, let me know. I can let you kind of know what, what I did there. I didn't post a video on that just because there's so many of them out there. You guys can kind of get an idea from the rest of them, but pick and choose what you want to do. Like I said, I did the ball valve on top so it's easier to fill. Pressurize is great. I don't have to worry about it losing pressure because of the threads. Um, that, that ball valve is a 150 PSI ball valve. It hasn't failed me yet. Typically, I can open it when I'm trying to fill, and it's got so much pressure from being heated by the sun. Um, M12 air compressor works awesome. A simple hose connection. Grab some suds. Grab a simple shower curtain, and you guys are showering, spending less time and money at hotels doing any of that. So, plus, like I said before, you have girls in your family or your wives, your girlfriends, whatever it may be. This thing come in handy just for changing if they're not as comfortable changing out in the in the open like us men can kind of get away with. So check it out. If you guys are new here, we are going to be doing so much more out of this rig. We have huge plans. It's got a big fall planned out west. Yes, big fall. I haven't really spilled the beans on that, but there's a big announcement coming up. So stay tuned for that. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you're a standard prowler, you guys know how this thing ends. Don't forget. You are for your prowl, and please thank a vet for their service. We'll catch you on the next one.